G'day everybody and welcome to another episode of Automotive Carnage. Today we are out exploring the wonderful outback of Western Australia and we are going to go bushwreck hunting. El Prado has come back after some much needed repairs. So without further ado, let's get into it. Yes, good everyone, my name's DJ and thank you for joining us on another episode of Automotive Carnage. As I just said before, the Prado is back after some much needed repairs. It's got a brand new clutch, it's got a brand new timing belt, it's got a brand new water pump, rear and front main seals, it's got valve cover gaskets, hang, it's even got its aircon working and re -gassed for the first time since I've ever owned the vehicle. So what better way to celebrate than to get out here in the bush and explore some of it. This note. I have some great old board parts and I'd love to put them all in a suitable can you help me please answer this note Pina and
ali? What a strange thing to come flying through the air. It's taped up, what's the go with that? Yeah. Got something in here. Oh, I hope it's winning lot of numbers. Hmm, that happened. Appears to be a good seal in this bag. To whoever finds this note, I have some great Ford parts. I'd love a project car. Can you help? Interesting. I think I know the guy. This is a great idea. my sums right and my calculations and I aim for a westerly direction should be able to get him right about there yeah 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 oh good it was only a dream well, more like a nightmare dream about those two blokes Oh, man, my head. Oh, no. I don't think that was a dream or a nightmare. What is this? To whoever finds this note, I have some great old four parts and I'd love to put them all in a suitable car. Can you help me? Peter Anderson. Oh, I suppose we can help this guy out. Let's go. Well, Peter asked for a vehicle, and well, here we go. What we have is a XA Ford Fairmont, factory 302 with a C4 automatic, and unfortunately, that's all gone. The rear diff's gone, the windows are gone. Quite a bit of this vehicle is gone, but it has some really good bones that we will now walk around this vehicle and show you what we have. Some of you may recognize it. It has appeared on one of my bushwreck hunting videos before, way back when I first started doing them. And um, so for all these new ones, let's see what we're going to be sending towards Peter Anderson. So what better place to start then at the front, which we have next to nothing of. The grill's gone, headlights are gone, but beautiful chrome bumper, great radio support. Engine and driveline is completely and utterly taken out of this vehicle. There is a few bits left around of exhaust manifolds, valve covers from the original V8. So we might collect those up and put them in the boot for Peter as well. Uh, come around the side here. So as you both noticed too, there's no glass left in this vehicle. Um, a very damaged roof, um, some pretty twisted and rusted A-pillars. Um, but that is a challenge that Graham from XA Coupe Guy is at, absolutely biting at the bit to have a crack at replacing the roof skin on this car. So that's going to be really interesting to watch over on his channel in future episodes. Um, the tag is missing, but I managed to track it down. It turns out another bushwreck hunting guy that I know came out, found this vehicle, took the tags. I'm like, oi, give them back. Um, where it's going to be with the original car and go back together the way it should. Um, VIN number's still there, absolutely fantastic. We have a front stub axle, wheel, nut, uh, wheel studs are there, ready to go. 
go in there a new door. This one's seen better days. And now here's a good indicator of how long this car has been sitting out here. That tree has grown since that door's been opened. So I find that really, really cool. Uh, jump inside there and you can see the interior is there, but it's going to obviously need to be reupholstered. Um, someone's had a good crack at the floor. I dare say when they tried to pull the transmission out, instead of lifting it and undoing the tail shaft properly, they've just cut a hole in there. Um, a lot of the dash is still intact, but we'll check out the gauges as we walk around the other side. All right, coming down the back, we've got majority of our chrome, which is going to need to be replaced. Boy, these guys have their work cut out for them. Really good rear quarters though. Um, we still have some tail lights, although a bit faded on the lenses. Hopefully Peter will find a way to bring those back to life. And really unusual too, we still have the Ford badges. So there's some really great parts left on this old XA Fairmont. Here you go, here's some of the bits I was talking about. We've got the one of the exhaust manifolds off the 302 and uh, cross member as well from underneath the vehicle. Uh, this side's looking a little bit worse for wear. We still have some good chrome on this side. A few dents and blemishes up there, but again, just as to the story, the chrome for around the vinyl on the back, that's in good reusable condition. Um, doors are dented in. I dare say we'll find some more rust in those sills, once we actually get this car up and out of the dirt. Nope, that's not going to work, unfortunately, so stick your head in there. Someone has been here recently because that is a fresh beer can in there, so someone's had a bit of a look around. Well, too late, sunshine. We are grabbing this car ourselves, so... Got a new, new console, that's pretty well bashed as well, but, I don't know, I, I, yeah, anyway, <laughs> she's, she's a bit, uh, bit rusted and a bit crumpled. Down here, we still have the stub axle, but someone's taken the upper control arm out. Um, we'll have to go get one of those, we'll have to go get a diff, because what I want to do is get this thing up out of the dirt, make it into a roller, and that way it's much, much easier to load onto the trailer. All right. Let's go get some of those parts. Now, before we go and get ahead of ourselves too far, let's address the elephant in the outback. Some of you may have noticed by now that that Fairmont is pretty well trashed. And on face value, you would be correct. A, the body is all crumpled up. B, the body is full of rust. And C, it's missing quite a few parts to make it functional. Now, as for A and B, this car will be going through two of the most competent car restorers that I have the pleasure of knowing. Both Graham and Peter understand the challenge that they're getting themselves into and are still willing to take it on, which I think is absolutely commendable and this car is gonna look even better for it. Now, where do I come in? I come in on, on reason C, parts to make it functional. Case in point, my rubbish dump. This right here is part of my local rubbish dump. There's about 20, 30, maybe more cars here, all in various states of repairs, most of them too far gone to be restored. But if you're willing to dig deep enough, you can find some absolute pure gold and we're going to find the pieces that we need to get our Fairmont made into a rolling chassis. Let's go take a look at what we've got. So like I said, this is part of my local car dump. We have everything from modern commuters right through to some absolutely beautiful uh, 60s and 70s classics. All of them are trash, all of them have been squashed. So bodies are no good, panels are pretty well dented and crumbled. But as I said, you go digging, you can find some great gold. This here is an XRXT wagon that donated its U-bolts so that we could fit the diff into the back of the Dodge. And right behind it is the XCXB that we are after today because it has the missing diff from axles right through to axle. So we're going to take this off today. Hopefully we can get the rust off those threads and uh, get the nuts off without snapping the bolts because we're going to need those U-bolts as well. We'll chop off the bent tail shaft there. And uh, generally, yeah, we just want that whole section there. Now, the other part that we need is a driver's side upper control arm. We go for a bit of a walk over to this stash here, and we find one that is going to be very useful for our needs. That there is an absolutely beautiful VF Valiant that's got the uh, twin barrel engine on that. We'll be taking that one day. But right over top of this old thing, we have an XA coupe. Now, same body style as the one we're rescuing. So we'll be taking the upper control arm, spring and shock out of this one. Now, I'm pretty sure that XA through to XC have the same suspension setup, but just to avoid complication, we have an XA, so we're gonna take those parts from an XA. Right, back over the old Nissan Pulsar, head over to our diff and we'll start pulling it out. Let's get into it.
So if the boys are right, when I undo this last nut, this blooming spring and upper control arm should come flying out like a blooming wild banshee. Let's see what happens. Nope. Well, there's the nut. All right, let me give it a hammer and we'll give it a tap. <laughs> now, that was a bit anticlimactic and then dropped down. Graham, Peter, I was expecting it to go thump, into the frickin' pulsar, man. Oh well. There we go. That's what we want. That assembly there. Um, man, that is a tall spring. Spring, shock absorber, upper control arm. Oi. And so there we have it. We have our diff out. We have our upper control arm. Let's head back out to the Fairmont now, get that car out of the dirt, and we'll start attaching our new bits and pieces so we can make it a rolling chassis. There we are folks, Peter Anderson's XA Fairmont is back up on actual stands and out of the dirt for the first time in 20 to 30 odd years. Um, talking to the local elders and I actually can't remember when this car was put here but needless to say we are requiring it the correct way and we have done the research. So with that out of the way, this thing is going to look awesome once we get it on some wheels. Um, as you can tell I'm very exhausted. It's uh, 37 to 39 degrees out here at the moment with hardly any cloud cover and uh, definitely no shade <coughs> oh excuse me a fly went straight in my mouth as i was talking <coughs> uh, uh. so yeah as i was saying after that little nutritious snack this car is going to look amazing once it's on some wheels and sitting in peter anderson's front yard now, a couple of dilemmas, you won't quite have seen them in the time lapse, the rear diff gave us a world of trouble just trying to use the U-bolts um, that we took off with the diff, the uh, threads were corroded and I tried to clean them out as best as I could before we got out here but the nuts just gave us grief and it, it just, oh my gosh, that took an hour just to get that diff in when it really shouldn't have. And then up the front here, I wasn't able to put the spring in with the shock so we're going to run it springless. Hopefully it gives us enough ground clearance to um, get the wheels on and get the wheels rolling. Now something I have noticed is that the steering arm on this side is not connected. And we have a very rusted ball joint on the end of that. So we'll make that work. It just has to hold the wheel straight so we can get it onto the trailer. Um, actually we might drag it out around these trees so it lines up beautifully in that clearing there so we can just reverse the trailer in. Right, I'm going to go home, um, get out of the heat for a little bit, cool down, let the weather cool down a bit um, and come back with some wheels, a trailer and um, we'll be able to get this thing home and in the yard sitting nice next to the Valiant until the transport company arrives. So there you go Peter, there is your new XA Fairmont. Absolutely awesome. And there's a fly up my nose, man. Ah, oh, that's it. I'm going home inside.
So there we go, the XA is now sitting safe and sound in our yard and is almost ready to make its journey over towards Peter Anderson. Uh, first thing that we need to do is find that missing arm, uh, steering arm, so we actually have a proper steering for it. Get some appropriately sized wheels and matching wheels to go on it so that the truck drivers have a much easier job getting it on and off for the transport. From what I understand, Graham has already sourced a roof for this vehicle and it's in really good condition. So I am furry looking forward to seeing how he stitches all that together over on his channel, XA Coop Guy. Um, as for now, that's all from this vehicle and uh, thank you all for watching. Catch you later. Oh. That was getting that thing out of the ground. <sighs> that was a bloody long day, but we got it and we're sorted. Right now, let's see, did he have a return address? Where to put this car? Da, 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 da. Oh, hang on a minute. Make that too, please. Ah, oh, 